Yeah, in the past, every time I saw the word stewardship, it was usually in the bulletin, it usually had to do with how much can you put in the collection basket. So to me, as always, stewardship meant tithing. You know, you, you see in the Bible, you know, 10%, you know, 5%, 10% tithing. And to me, that was stewardship. Uh, I got involved in the Living Stones program here. We, one of the first things we learned that through baptism, we're called to ministry. And that ministry basically means bringing your talents to help others. And so that started to connect with me as far as stewardship that maybe didn't always have to mean just money. Uh, I've always been in a situation where I could never give as much as I wanted to and kind of felt bad about that, but at the same time knew I was doing what I could. Uh, after the Living Stones project that it, we just completed the third year of, you come to realize that stewardship, especially in, in a community of which we've become, means being able to help others uh, through other ways besides giving money. Now giving money is important because it is necessary, but a lot of parishioners and a lot of people have a lot of talents here that I wasn't even aware of until I went through this program. And we've been able to share those with each other and moving forward, stewardship to me means giving, giving of those talents to help others uh, when they need it. Well, one of the things that we talked about when you go through the Living Stones program, one of the things they want you to do is, is preparing you for ministry, whether that be in the church or at work or in your own home or in your community, uh, preparing you to take a leadership role in that. And they, the question was put to you, what do you see yourself doing with this when you, when you leave? And I looked at other ministries that were offered around the church and they're, they're all valid and very good. I just didn't find myself fitting into one of those. What was I going to do uh, with what I had? And then, you're seeing now this this video. Uh, the, the the church actually did uh, get this the video camera. It's to start recording things like this, and then and then it kind of hit me. I a lot of my expertise. I've been a photographer for over 20 years. I've done started to do some video work. I've done some internet internet site work um, through different projects, and it kind of dawned on me that they probably need some help in this area. And then when I approached people at the church, they did. It was really a good feeling to, to, find, to find a calling, to find something that I could do to help. When in, at the time when the question was first posed to me, I had no clue what I was going to do. But through all that reflection and prayer and, and the class, this kind of fell on my lap and I've run with it. Well, since uh, we started this up again, I, I've started lecturing again. Uh, I lectured about 25, 30 years ago in a, in a former parish that I was in. Um, once again, getting back to the talents that I have, um, uh, I've offered to help with the parish website's uh, Facebook page. Uh, we're trying to, they're trying to get that launched and, and more interactive with the, with the overall parish community. So I've offered to help there. Uh, I've done some adult faith formation, uh, taping Biagia's classes, making those available. Right now they're available mostly to the people who are taking the course so they can take a refresher course or if they miss a class. We hope to eventually to be able to spread that uh, to, 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 to more people. So those are one of the, the main ministries that I'm, I'm working in now, and it's, it, it's, been, it's been good. We're all on a different faith journey. We're all at a different spot in the faith journey. And for me, uh, three years ago when I started this process with, with Living Stones and, and getting more involved in the parish, uh, personally, I knew I needed a lot of work on my faith journey, and, and, and through that program and through the things offered here at the parish, I think it's come a long way. Still has a long ways to go, obviously, but I think that, that it is. So if you pray about it and think about your special needs or your circumstances, uh, definitely give it a look because it's definitely well worth it.